Ladies and gentlemen, it is Snapshot Wednesday again, and here is Minecraft Snapshot 17W14A for the PC edition of Minecraft version 1.12. My name is Sliced Lime, let me take you on a guided tour of this week's snapshot. This snapshot is mostly an update to the features introduced in last week's snapshots, so let's start with the parrot. The behavior of clicking on a parrot has now changed. If you right click on a parrot that will now make it sit instead of making it sit on your shoulder. They can still sit on your shoulder though, they will sometimes randomly fly up and sit on your shoulder and walking into them or next to them will make them more likely to sit on your shoulder. There's also another new behavior of these parrots. There are party parrots in this version. Play a record close to a parrot and they will dance and change colors. There's also a number of bug fixes with the parrots. They used to move their legs when they were sitting on your shoulders and you walked around and they no longer do that. And they also used to disappear if you left the end through the portal. Now they will teleport with you through that portal. They also didn't make any sounds whatsoever when on your shoulders and that is fixed. And they still don't show up in the subtitles. The translated strings for that have actually been added to the game but it's not fully there yet. Even though it's listed as fixed. And then there is the question, is there anything else? The recipe book has also been updated a whole bunch in this version. It has a new icon and it also has a new shift click ability inside the recipe book itself. The recipe book will now stay open, so if you had it open when you closed the crafting table or inventory, it will now reopen again when you open that up again. And in the same way, it will now also remember whether it should show all or only the craftable items. That preference is also remembered when you close the interface. As with all new features, this one has also gotten a number of bug fixes. Items in the crafting grid no longer disappear when you select a recipe, and if you have more than one of the same type of item in that recipe, when you unselect it, all of them will now be properly returned to your inventory. Previously only one would be returned. And here's a weird bug that has been fixed. If you use the recipe book to craft something in your inventory while wearing a helmet, that helmet would stop rendering. Really weird one. There's also a number of smaller fixes to the display of various text boxes and elements in the user interface. I won't be going through those in detail, you can find them all in the changelog linked down in the description of the video. The new advancement system has been advanced as well. New advancements have been added, including a new adventure tab. This tab contains more achievement-like advancements, like some of the ones that existed before but are no longer in the crafting tech tree of advancements that was added last week. Moreover, getting an advancement will now display a pop-up box in the top right corner, like achievements used to, and you can get up to five of them at once, and if there are more than five they will queue up and then show later when one of the previous ones has disappeared. It does appear to be the case that these pop-ups don't work properly at all times in this version and you might have to reopen your world to see them. That will be fixed in a coming snapshot. Some things have been fixed as well in the backdrop for this. The loot reward for advancements didn't actually provide any loot, didn't provide any items, that is fixed now. And all instances of entity matching conditions didn't work properly for advancements and that is also fixed in this version. One other very important bug fix, the item duplication glitch that was in the previous version has been fixed. There's no longer a chance to duplicate items when you pick them up. And then in terms of technical stuff, because the previous version now updated Minecraft to Java version 8, this version has now been able to upgrade a bunch of the libraries that the code uses. This probably doesn't mean much to you unless you are a modder, in which case it might. For map makers, the recipe command had a bunch of problems with error messages not showing correctly. And then there's also a number of changes to the NBT data of the game that might be useful. The recipe book tag that was introduced in the player in the previous version was originally a string containing a JSON object of a compound. Now it is properly a compound and it contains all of the recipe book information and that is the information about what recipes that they have unlocked. There's also some new things inside of the recipe book here. That is, is filtering craftable, which is a byte that is set if you have it set to only show craftable items in the recipe book interface. And then there's a similar one for is GUI open. That is a byte that is set to one if you have left the recipe book interface open when you last closed your crafting interface. 
There's one other data change as well. The zombie underscore villager entity has had two fields added. They are conversion player least and conversion player most. And those in combination save the UUID of the player that has started converting that zombie which is then used with the cured zombie villager to trigger advancements for that player. Finally, there was a crash when you cancelled or changed a recipe in the recipe book and you had a full inventory and that crash has been fixed in this version. And speaking of crashes, do make sure that if you try this version that you do so on a test world or on a backup of your world. These are snapshots, they are development updates and they can be unstable, including crashing your game or even corrupting your world files. So be a bit careful if you do try this version out. If you want to try it, head on into your launcher and select the snapshots profile in the drop down next to your play button and start the game. You will then be playing the latest snapshot version, which is currently this one, Minecraft 17w14a. And that was all the changes for this version. My name is Sliced Lime, I hope you found this video useful and if you did, please help me out in return and leave a like on the video. Thank you for watching and bye bye.